YouTube channel. This is Reflex Image. If this is your first time visiting, don't forget to like and subscribe to my YouTube channel and also turn on the notification icon. If you're already a subscriber, welcome back. So I just came across some particular brushes which can help you transform your picture in no time and I felt the need to actually share them with you. I'll be giving the brush for free of charge so that you can try them out yourself and see if it can help you. These brushes are some special effects already done on ground to make your picture editing skills very very easy. So we have beds, we have tree, we have free, real smoke, we have rain, we have afternoon photoshop, we have free water splash, etc. So this is going to help your picture, it's going to make your picture look very very nice with little or no effort. So let's start by doing some things with it. Firstly, let me duplicate my background layer and I'm going to do it. Click on my what quick selection tool. I want to separate my subject from the background because there will be some I want to apply on the, on the background and there will be some I want to apply on the picture entirely, as you can see right now. So let's let's make the selection first before we jump straight into that. So my selection is done, but it's not that perfect. So I don't need selection to be perfect though. This is why I just need I need the, the head area. That's what I just need, but let me just do it. Let me just add to all the selection right now. Let me add there. Then I'm going to click on max. So Below the layer I just created right now, I'm going to create an empty new layer on it. And I'm going to pick one of the brush first. I'll go to my brush tool. I'm going to pick one of the brush. Which one should I start from? Which one should I start from? Which one should I start from? So let's see a cloud brush. Cloud by Milau. Let's try it out. I'm going to select this and I'm going to increase what? I'm going to increase my brush size, I think, to around 5,000 or so. I'm going to apply it. Can you see what it did for us? I'm going to apply it here also. You see what it did for us. Look at how nice it actually looks. I can also do it. Just go to filter. Under filter, I just go to blow. And I'm going to blow it out a little bit. As you can see right now. And it's going to give me something very, very nice. With just a single click, look at what I did. So I'm going to click on OK. That being said right now, let's try another brush again. There are so many cloud brushes there we can select from. So many shape of cloud brushes where you can select from. So the next one that we're doing right now is to do it. I'm going to close this up right now. 20 soft brushes. Okay, what does this do? Okay, this like a smoke, like a fog. So let me increase the brush size also to 5000. And I'm going to do what? I'll create another layer for it. And I'm going to do what? Paint over it like this, just once. Can you see? I'm going to drag this one on top of my subject layer. As you can see. Ctrl T for free transform. I'm just going to adjust this to whatever I want it to be. Just like this. Can you see what it just did for us right now? This is just like a little or no stress at all. So let's create another MC new layer and see what we can pick here again. Let's see, let's see. I'm going to close this up. Moon brush. What does the moon brush give us? Let's see, let's see. Click on OK. Oh, this is actually going to create like an half moon for us. Let me click on it. Wow, this is perfect. This is perfect. Can you see? Ctrl T for free transform, and I'm going to drag it to where I want it to be. This is very, very perfect. I haven't tried all these house before. This is just the first time I'm trying it out. And it's actually very, very seamless to use. Just like a little or no effort while I was doing this picture right now. So this is going to help you improve your picture. Not every time you just have to do crazy manipulation. You can just do something like this and your picture is already good to go. So I'm going to turn this off right now also. I'm going to create another layer on it. Then we'll go to the brush. There are so many moon sizes there, different type. Look at another one. Can you see, control Z? There are so many sizes you can use, so many different shape of the moon you can use. As you can see, this is a full moon. So anyone you just want to use there, the brush is already there, they're already custom made. So I'm going to close it up. We have a lightning also. So let's pick the light first lightning. I'm going to do what? Increase the brush size. And I'm going to, can you see? Do you see how cool this is right now? You can reduce the size. Yeah, the brightness I mean to see. Very, very seamless and spaceful. Let me turn off everything right now, as you can see. It's already chaotic, but just want to do some show of on how the brush actually works. So I'm going to turn this off back right now again, and I'm going to go back there. I'm going to close this, open human skin brush. Uh, no, this is actually a different brush. So 20 fire brushes, let's pick one of the 20 fire brushes and see what it's going to give to us. This is it right now. Let's create an empty new layer also. And I'll, I'm going to change this to red. Because this, we're talking about fire here. Can you see? This is very, very nice. Just look, use it to your own liking. I'm not going to use it to create anything realistic here right now. I just want to show you why the brushes work so that you can know how to use it. Water splash, I think it's one of my favorite things when it comes to using brushes also. As you can see, I'm just going to click it once, like this, click on once. Ctrl Z, just to be white, or somehow cyan in color. Okay, as you can see right now. Ctrl T for free transform, and I'm going to do it. Increase it till I see fit. 
Can you see right now? Very, very real, hyper realistic in nature. I'm going to delete this. As you can see, there are so many things you can use here. So many brushes you can use here. So actually do what? We have crack brush. There's still so many down here also. We have tree, we have smoke, we have rain. So let's see with the rain brush. Let's create an empty new layer. And I'm going to do it. I'm going to click like this. Can you see right now? So you can use this to actually transform your picture to whatever you want. So I'll be using this, I'll be saving this like this. I don't think I need this fog down here. The cloud also, do I need the cloud? Yeah, let's just leave the cloud and save the picture like this. Very, very nice. And it's actually very, very easy to use. Just a click feature and we are able to transform this picture in no time. So if this video helped, don't forget to drop a like. If you're interested in this brush, can you drop interested in the comment section and i'm going to share with you or you can just join my telegram group to save yourself the time the stress to be able to get free access to this brush to use your picture editing see you guys in my next video tutorial reflex out if you watched the video to this point in time that means you're loving my tutorial so the only thing you can do to support me right now is just to click on the subscribe button and also drop a like and you also have a question you can also drop a comment you subscribing, you liking my video is going to make YouTube recommend my videos to others and that's going to encourage me to create more videos like this for you guys to learn from. And note, I will also be dropping so many files that you guys can download for free, files you need to be getting for premium. Each like count, each subscription counts.